Hey everyone, I wanted to do a video on how me and my wife have built a house over in the Philippines. And we love it there, and anyone that doesn't know, we plan on moving there permanently um, in a couple months, so we've been packing and preparing and shipping everything over there, because we're going there permanently, of course. So we spent the last couple years building a house there the way we want it, uh, so that when we do move there, we, we don't have a mortgage, we don't have a rent, we don't have anything like that, so we can do it and be prepared in advance which is the best way to do it so the last uh five years roughly we've been doing the house so i don't think i can possibly do this all in one video so i'm probably going to break the house up into two um and then probably a third video doing the pool and the gym and the extra patio and then we even put in some fish ponds so things like that so if you have any questions about it um put them in the comments. I, I guarantee you I will get back and I, I will answer your questions because we've been doing this for years. Um, my wife owns a business and she's very smart and she writes everything down and tracks everything and I deal with building new facilities in the US and Chicago market uh, from Minneapolis down to Kansas City so that's all I do. Of course it's not like the Philippines at all so it's a learning curve when we when we first started so she was good at it and you know, I, I was a little confused on a lot of their methods, but anyways. So that being said, before we start with the house, I just wanted to touch on topic of safety. So as you can see in this photo, it's a number one priority over there. Again, <laughs> number one priority over there. So <laughs> I had to ask when I was sitting there eating breakfast and I, and I looked over and saw this and I started scratching my head and I had to ask. So I, I asked him, is there an issue? You know, is that safe? And he said, oh, we're missing a wire. So if you're an electrician, feel free to comment below. M maybe you can explain it. If you're not an electrician and you went to school up to kindergarten, please jump in and tell me your opinion if you think they're gonna find the wire. But anyways, let's move on to the house now. Okay. Getting back to where I was, very impressed with the quality, craftsmanship, and, and their work ethic. So, as you can see, they're putting in all the columns right now, and these are what they look like pre-built. So, they're all 16 millimeter, and then wrapped in 10 millimeter. Then, all of these posts are put in each one of the corners and end of the room so that the columns are very strong. Now that's just the beginning, of course. They end up digging out the ground from one to another to another, but they want to start off with these to make sure everything's level and it's square and it's it's strong and sturdy and it's not going to move or go anywhere while they're doing it. So this was the uh, definitely exciting part because the walls are actually going up and, you know, it started, well, I'm not going to say it looks like a house yet, but it's starting to look good. And you can see all the posts and columns that are that are everywhere. So here's how that looks with some of those sticking up. Uh, and we also went with the, the larger cinder block. Uh, it's definitely something I would recommend if you're going to do a two story. Most people over there are just using the small hollow blocks, which is a lot more common because of the price. But me personally, I would just go with the larger one because the price difference is a few peso. So overall, I, I did a an estimate on how many blocks we would be using in our hollow blocks and how many large hollow blocks we would be using in comparison it was it, it was nothing to be concerned with so here's how the walls get adjoined the rebar gets put through every one of them and then of course goes right to the post me standing there of course the uh, house is starting to go up first floor anyways that's the wave us Okay, so you can tell just by looking at this at how strong they, they build things, especially when you, you do it the right way and you know you step up your rebar a little bit for strength. You go with a better cement mix. Um, go with the larger block. I mean, you can see how much metal is involved and how square and level everything is. So, I mean, I was very impressed looking at this. 100% comfortable and confident living in this thing. It's it's built really well. 
Now, this is a horrible picture because they took it at night. They needed all day to pour it the next day. So what they did is they encased every one of those beams and posts in wood so that they could pour it with cement. So it looks a little ugly like this, yes, but you can tell how strong it is because you saw how much metal was involved. And you can, you can just see sticking up. I mean, that thing's poured with cement all the way. It's, it's not going anywhere. So here's where they started to get into the stairs, which I found very interesting. When I wanted the stairs suspended going over the living room, so you're walking right up the stairs into the bedroom door, I preferred not to have a post, of course, in front of, you know, the kitchen doorway. And he said, oh yeah, no problem, he was going to suspend them. So I, I was thinking wood, initially. And then when he built this, I was, you know, a little thrown off, but I mean, you can see how this beam goes from one end all the way to this end the same thing with the beam in the middle of the stairs and then all these rebars were tied into the wall because they planned on building the stairs this way so you know i was shocked anyways i, I just didn't expect this but i was uh, very impressed with it so then of course they laid each one of the rebars on where the steps would go and then put wood behind it so they could fill it with cement The house to the left you can ignore because we end up moving that. So now that's down towards the farther left of the property. It's still there, but we're going to end up moving that. We're not going to keep it there. So now you can see how the stairs are starting to look the way it is, which is a little rough when you're building a house out of hollow block and cement. Um, you know, you're just kind of looking at it and it's not the prettiest thing, but it comes together great. So there's the house with the second floor going up and I'm, again it's very strong you're going to you're looking at this and and you know that it's built right and they did a good job. So here's the back view. There's my wife. There's the beams. Now that the wood's been removed and remember again that's all you know 16 mm rebar and 10 mm wrapped rebar and then poured in cement. So very strong for the second floor. Of course, you gotta also have some fun with you there. There's second floor almost done. We ended up moving the bedroom door so that's no longer there upstairs. Uh, we didn't need that. We have a balcony going off of the front. There's the supervisor. So now the roof's going on. And what they do is they're taking all of the beams and they paint them all first and then all the rebar that is sticking up from the hollow block ends up getting welded to this so you end up having a, a steel frame on top of your cement going around the whole roof so very strong very square not going to move um, you know I was very happy and impressed with the way they were doing this I was a little curious how they were going to do it at first so here starts to look with the roof almost framed out. I'm not going to say done. Again. So again, ignore the house to the right. We end up moving that. That's not there right now. Um, you can see how the, the framing was done on top of the cement. There we are inside those stairs that you originally saw. Uh, ceilings are much higher than the normal ceiling. But when I calculated going with an additional, you know, three blocks at 11 peso a block and calculating how many we'd need, I mean, and then adding in a little bit of cement and rebar, it's nothing. And then your house ends up looking so much bigger and more open inside. So I'm really happy we did that. There she is upstairs. You can tell how massive she is. There I am looking at the stairs. Um, again, here's the post and here are the houses are doing the second floor. So they're taking all these beams that we have laid across and now they're installing the metal beams and they're welding each one to the rebar that's sticking out of the cement. So you can tell, I mean it goes from one end of the room to the other end of the room, gets welded in the middle and then each side. It's it, it's very strong. I mean I'm, I'm really happy with the quality. My OCD is definitely kicking in regarding the, the one little bent piece over there but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to let that go. Not a big deal. Um, after they got everything welded into place, then they end up 
you know, grinding it and painting it so that it looks, you know, much better now. Um, of course, you're still looking at the cement. It's not smooth yet, so it doesn't look the best, but, I mean, that's a, that's a strong, well-built floor. I mean, that's, that's how I would do it. Again, um, definitely worth investing the money into the metal now versus going with wood. So there's the roof going over the uh, office and the spare bedroom. Again, I can the house. And now they're actually putting up the roofing material. And we didn't go with the metal roof. Um, that's the most common. 99% of the houses over there have the metal roofs. And that's okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying anything negative about it. But when you look at the other comparison options, you're going to spend more to upgrade, but then your heat is going to get cut way down because the sun beaming on metal and you stand underneath it, you're hot. That's why we didn't go with the metal roof to definitely, you know, help cut down with the heat and the sun beating on it. So there's the house with the roof getting installed. It's coming along great and starting to actually look like a house. It doesn't look very pretty again, but that's okay. It will in the future. So there's the roof all put on there. How it's structured to that and bolted down or screwed down, I should say. And here's the last picture for this little video. So you can see the way the house is set up right now. And now they're going to coat the whole house with cement from the inside and the outside and smooth everything and make it look pretty. So then you can put on another coating after that and then go with the paint. And then the next video will include, you know, finalizing this. So it looks flat. We're gonna get into the windows getting installed. Really, I really love those. Um, doing the doors, we had the ceilings done after that, and then of course the flooring. So if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below and I, will, I guarantee you I'll get back to them. Um, I will get into the cost on each one of these steps, but I want to get these videos completed first. So I'm not just saying, oh, here's a total and this is what I got. It would be, you know, a little hard for someone to look at this and say, wait, you paid how much? That doesn't make any sense. So I'd rather just get them complete first and then I'll do a little breakdown on the spreadsheet and, and show everyone what it ended up costing us total so thank you for watching and i will have another video on this out uh very soon and then probably two or three more after that regarding all the extra additions that we made for the house